B3-20. It's not readily apparent, since we don't have an overall dimension, that the circle and the vertex of our peak are not centered on the other uh, part. So this angle ends up being in a, uh, a little bit wider. This angle and our point vertex ends up being a little bit higher. So if you go through the dimensions, just watch out building that uh, that symmetry into the uh, to the part. So we'll fly that out of the way. We have a metric part be on the uh, the front plane again, and. Let's see, that height was about 35, so that looks good. And I do want to just watch it creating the uh, the shapes. And we'll come back with the, uh, the angle. All right, so if I, looks like a 90, if I recognize, and let's see if we um, pull the uh, the donut up and it went to circle. So holding down the right button and turning or moving the mouse to the left and then going to the left, that picked the line. So I do kind of want to see where that is going to terminate. And I don't have to leave it an object line so it, you know, when I do the extrusion it won't participate. But it will let me know where um, where those uh, shapes come up. So 10 millimeters and that would be the depth of the uh, the cut and so the overall length oh, I got the um, had the previous highlight so let's get out of that. I'm gonna escape one more time. Alright so somewhere in there I managed to hit a filter. So I want to hit F5 on the keyboard Make sure I'm hitting F5 here. All right, and it's showing me the filter, but I can't tell what it's filtering for. So maybe, well, I'm not sure what it was filtering for. All right, <laughs> so we'll go back into the smart dimension. I pushed too many buttons. That's uh, what it was telling me. All right, so from the edge to the vertex, we do know that that's 20. And then this is 25. All right, so as we start building back, then we have 25 to the, uh, to the outside, 12 to the notch, 35 to the left, and 60 as an overall. All right, so as we go through and we complete those, 60 rather than 90, and the 20, so let's see which way this can move. So pretty much up and down. All right, so the choices are, uh, let's see, we're not given an angle. So if I make those horizontal, that they're at 35, then this would be uh, a more critical angle. If I were to make it perpendicular, then it would be a lot higher. So given the, um, the dimensions, let's go with the horizontal, and that will give me a completed um, fully defined sketch, but it also looks uh, a little bit strange. So the through hole is 14 millimeters. We can include the um, our dimensions. 20 millimeters on the height, and then it's a choice of adding a separate dimension if we think that hole's going to, to move, but since it's dimensioned, I can select and control select the vertex, make those vertical, and we're ready to extrude. All right, so features, extrude, and we have a depth of 55. And we'll accept. OK, 
Okay, and then my sketch on the side. And I'm going to leave this one an open contour for illustration. And we have a depth of 15, height of 5. All right, and just to make this complicated, our um, 10 millimeters off the face, I could uh, extrude cut, features, extrude cut, and I could go offset from face, but then I could also, since we included that in the first sketch, I can show that first sketch and tell it to go, uh, maybe I can't up to vertex. So if I had closed this off, I would get that as a selection. Since I didn't, then I will get the blind in condition and would either have to do the math to tell it that it is 20, or continuing to make it more complicated, we have to offset it so I can stay through all. And did not want through all both, so let's turn direction 2 off and reverse. And then in the sketch plane, offset 20 millimeters. So that's probably as complicated as I can make that combination, except that I need to reverse it <laughs> to get that same shape. So in this case, completing the triangle and telling it up to vertex or giving it a blind in condition was way easier than uh, what I generated. So the flip side to cut, I ah, didn't like it anyway. All right, so through all, and we had a, a direction. All right, so blind of 20 millimeters. Let's see if it'll take that. Make the feature as specified. All right, so since it's not going to give it to me, let's go back to a control eight. So after all of that complexity, it still didn't like it. Here I thought it was being a little slick. All right, so we'll go back in, extrude cut. And if I were to go uh, up to vertex, now I can let that first sketch drive. All right, so visual and layout wise, that gives me uh, a little a little flexibility that I'm driving this geometry just based on that first sketch. Now the other side of, of that coin is that if somebody else is going to be using your model and they're not familiar with the technique it will probably drive them crazy that this has uh, only the, uh, the couple of dimensions and we're really not seeing anything being driven so when they edit it It'll be kind of a, why did you do it that way? All right, so that gives me my geometry, and we'll go ahead and save it and be ready to move on. So 20, oh, I guess I should have uh, paid attention to my selections and done the, uh, the rename for 2018. So I overlooked the... The notch out of the uh, top of the, the peak there. It is showing as 18 deep and 15 on both sides. So this is a good spot to use the from and to. As far as uh, picking a location for the uh, for the notch, well, any vertical surface, any any vertical plane, it will uh, will work. So the end, the inside, the other inside and the other end will all suffice and then the right plane would also work what we wouldn't want to do and because of the way the depth is set we wouldn't want to sketch a, a rectangle on this face and try and calculate out that 18 uh, millimeter depth so if we go to the uh, end of the sketch and we'll pick a, uh, a rectangle and go ahead and create the sketch then we can select the midpoint, select the edge, make the midpoint. We'll put 
put the depth at 18 and the offset is 15 from both sides. Okay, so once we have that symmetry established, we'll come around and look at the sketch and we'll see that it's in floating out in space, but when we make it intersect the part, it'll remove the material. So extrude cut. If I give it an up to next, it will remove the triangle. And then if anything grows or I make changes that there would be additional geometry out in this area, uh, it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't try to cut it. The other thing would be a vertex, a surface, or giving it a depth. But the problem with the depth is if we grow it, then it also has a tendency to change up to next. In this case, is a pretty good option. Okay, now we have a complete part.